Hey guys, Ravi here from Ira FX, and in this video, we'll be learning to make this animation in Adobe After Effects. This is a beginner's tutorial considering the fact that you know how to use the interface of Adobe After Effects. So, let's get started. Let us first divide this tutorial into three steps. Step 1 shooting the scene, step 2 splitting the shots, and step 3 adding effects. So in the first step, all you have to do is shoot a video something like this. Place your camera on a tripod and act as if you are jumping into a water puddle. So make sure you have a bench kind of thing so that uh, it helps you jump into the small water puddle just like the way you see in the video. Drag your footage onto this small icon here so that you create a new composition. Now go to the frame where there is no character in it such that we can get a clean plate of our background and click on edit and duplicate the layer. Now at this point of frame, right click on this layer and from time click on freeze frame. So now we have our background layer created and let me name it to background. Now move the background layer to the bottom and uh, from the topmost layer go to the point where the character's legs are exactly touching this water puddle and uh, select, make sure you select that layer at, and at that point of frame click on edit and split now select the this right layer and make sure you freeze the frame from time freeze frame you can now see that our character is freezed at that frame now the thing that we have to do is mask out a character click on this icon here so that you you get access to this pen tool and uh, you can mask out the character's outline the masking need not be really perfect but make sure you have a clean outline of our character so this is how it looks once the masking is done Now select this mask layer and expand this transform and uh, on the first frame of this uh, layer click on this small icon here so that you create a keyframe and go to a couple of frames forward like around uh, 4 to 5 frames forward and uh, increase this Y value so that the mask layer goes down similar to the way that you are seeing on the screen. The next thing that we'll be doing is duplicate our background layer. So move this uh, duplicated background layer to the top and uh, select this masking tool. I selected this uh, um, rectangle tool and make sure you mask out the layer in, the, in a way that you see in the video such that the half of the puddle gets covered. Let me rename this to water puddle. Now increase the mask feather to around 10 or 11 such that the edges are not sharp. Now if you have a look at how the video is going to be, you see that our character mask is dropping down into the puddle. So we are done with step number 2. So the last thing that we have now is to add a water splash effect as soon as the character passes by this water puddle. So in this step. I have this element, FX element that I downloaded from Production Create. It is an amazing website where you can find tons of free content and you can also buy stuff there.
you can find them in the link in the description you can find tons of water splash effects uh, having green screen background you can download it over the internet but for now I use this footage and drag it onto the composition the water splash is uh, is quite slow here so let me uh, increase the time by right clicking on it time and time stretch let me set this value so that uh, it fast uh, it it's kind of uh, a little fast make sure that the water splash gets started as soon as the character's legs touch the water so uh, I'm also adjusting the opacity so that it doesn't look really uh, dark and uh, blends with, the, with our uh, footage so also make sure you enable this uh, uh, motion blur effect for our uh, character so that it doesn't look uh, artificial so if you are looking for more visual effects and tutorials consider subscribing to this channel or you can also follow me on instagram at vfxguyravi you can also download this project file from my website irafx.net for your reference. See you next time with another exciting tutorial.